like to personally welcome everyone here this afternoon. I'm Pastor Haithman, and it's an honor to officiate in this service and to have the great honor and privilege to share God's word with all who gather. So I just want to uh, affirm to everyone, we gather here not to mourn defeat, but we gather here to celebrate victory. The victory that our Lord Jesus Christ gave to Ron, and that same victory that he offers to all of us. And we thank you for being here as a support and an encouragement to this family today. I'm going to hand it over to our funeral director. My name is Will, and I'm the funeral director of the Belmont Funeral Services. On behalf of Ron's family, I just want to thank you so much for being here. As you all came in, you were given a memorial folder. Inside the memorial folder is a page. And what I would like for you to do is, is to write down a memory on the page. We're doing something a little different for his service, and it's called the memory box. We're wanting to collect memories that you may have of him, whether it's something that he taught you, a story that makes you laugh every time you think about it, or, or just something that he said. It's not necessarily a time for, for condolences, but it's a time for, for sharing the memory, and that's the gift. It's the gift that you all are able to give because of you being here. So if you get a chance to do that, it would mean a lot. We're going to be collecting the memories at the end of the service, and then after everything, his family will be receiving the box of memories. So thank you so much for participating with us. Thank you. We gather in the name of the one true God, the Lord of life, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us pray. O oh, dear Lord God, Heavenly Father, you know the pain and the grief that is with this family and friends as we gather here today. Lord, death is such a difficult thing for us to face, and most of the time we don't want to look at death at all. But here today, Lord, we come face to face with death and, and seemingly its power. And so, Lord, we recognize that you alone are the one who can give us hope. You are the one alone who can deal and has dealt with death. And so, Lord, we ask your love and your compassion, your blessings to be upon all who gather here. Bless your precious word, Lord, as it is read and proclaimed that we may hear your voice and be encouraged and redirected in our lives. We ask it in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. In 1953, and by the way, I would invite you to follow along in the service bulletins as there are some responsive readings. And the first one is with regards to Ron's baptism. Ron was baptized at Trinity Lutheran Church on June 16th in 1953. In holy baptism, Ron was clothed with the robe of Christ's righteousness that covered all his sin. St. Paul says, do you not know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him in baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. So through baptism, God gives new life. He gives new birth. Well, we turn to God's word in the book of Job chapter 19 and we hear the wonderful promises about the resurrection all the way from the Old Testament and I share with you now these words oh that my words were recorded that they were written on a scroll that they were inscribed with an iron tool on lead or engraved in rock forever I know that my Redeemer lives and that in the end, he will stand upon...